Hi! We're gonna do a lip swatch video today and I'm gonna go through all my Pat McGrath lipsticks, lip glosses, anything that I have. And oh, look, look, excuse this, this is dirty, but like just a little like side note, I just did my nails. Okay, it took me so long, but I took my time and it looks absolutely amazing. I was like, ooh, it looks like I went to the salon, but I did it at home. And I just chose one color this time with a Madame Glam nail polishes. Anyways, it's amazing. So we'll just start. I already put a little bit of lip liner because I'm gonna start with the lip balm, the lip glosses, and then we'll pass to the Matte little lipstick. Showing you guys my collection. I bought some minis uh, not too long ago, actually. They were all on sale. So I was like, okay, it's time to jump into Pat McGrath and try a bunch of her formulas. The lip balm. I really like the packaging. You just open it up and it just looks so good. There's not really any smell to this one though. Little sheen, very cute. I don't think it's worth the money actually because the full version is like $50 Canadian and this is a crazy amount of money for a lip balm. It does feel nice though and hydrating but that's about it. All right, so moving on, I actually have two lip glosses from Pat McGrath. I have a big version, which is from the uh, Divine Rose collection, which this one is Earth Angel. I used it quite a lot, that's why you can see a little bit out. But this one is like kind of greenish pink with gold. There's a lot of different colors actually in this lip gloss, which is really nice. The formulation is nice, I already tried this one. I'm still gonna apply it and show it to you guys on top of the lip balm, because you can actually see it. The sheen on this lip gloss is just really nice. I love the little glitters in there. It helps a lot. The only thing that I have to notice on this one is that it doesn't last that long throughout the day, but what can you do? It's a lip gloss, so that's about it. And these are really expensive too. They are $40 each a piece. Regular versions, um, Canadian. This is crazy. But it does feel nice. It looks nice and it makes you pout just a little bit bigger a little bit bigger and um, it's obviously looks better when i have it with lipstick and overline my lips because this is kind of crazy anyways that is it for this lip gloss and by the way i was feeling myself so much i decided to put my biggest hoops in my ears and then some falsies i was like this is gonna like complete the look with this orange shirt Amazing. I'm gonna remove what I have on my lips. I have these little cotton pads. I hope that I'm not gonna have all these fuzzy things on my lips. Um, I don't think so though. All right, it is removed. I do have a little bit of like glitters left on this, but I don't really mind it. Um, then we have another lip gloss. This one is, um, what's the thing? Bronze Astro. I never tried this one. The most of the minis that I have in here and the other lipsticks, I didn't try it. I think I tried one and that's about it. But this one, if you want a comparison from this bronze astral to um Earth Angel, they are quite similar when you look at, at this, especially in the camera. But this one, the one that we're gonna try now, is definitely a little bit more, I would say, pink and bronze compared to the other one. This one is more, you know, like yellowish green and pink, and this one is, you know pink oh i don't like this i thought it i thought it was gonna be like like an applicator a lip gloss applicator never mind what am i supposed to do with that this one is definitely more shimmery than the other one um the lust from this one is insane it is crazy i do have a lot on my lips right now so like i would recommend you not putting that much because you might have <laughs> it might stick a bit but mm. If you want something with shine, high shine, this is the you. <laughs> I still have some glitters stuck there. Um, I have like um, something that happened while trying to remove the lip gloss with these things. There's so many fuzzy things in there. Like it was literally stuck in my gloss and then it would just strip and be so disgusting. So anyways, I decided to add a little bit of um, micellar water and it's better. I don't have any fuzzy things anymore in my on my lips. All right, so the next one is the one from the Divine Rose Collection. So this one is in the shade Dream Lover 476. Um, I'm not gonna put any lip liners. I did have a lip liner already, but it wasn't from Pat McGrath, so I'm just not gonna put anything. And that color is really nice. It's gonna look super good with my 
warm tone fantasy in here. So uh, let's apply this one. It's a little bit more satiny than a full matte. So as a reference, um, if you want, this shade is the exact same color as the lip liner from MAC Cosmetics in Boldly Bare. It's a very great match if ever you were looking for one. It is gone already, okay? So that was quite a lot. So this one is very comfortable, very hydrating. And then we're gonna go into the other ones. So we're gonna start with the lip liner from Pat McGrath. Uh, this is the Parmigel Ultra, Ultra Lip Pencil in the shade Suburbia. So this is the color that it comes in. And then you have, uh, I obviously used it. So it's um, used already, but I'm not gonna like sharpen it or anything. I'm still gonna show you what it looks like. It's very, I would say similar to my lip color, natural lip color, but deeper. So I would say that this lip liner, you really have to keep it sharpened. Um, if it's not sharpened, it's gonna be very hard to apply. It's like creamy, but it's there's like some grip to it when you apply it on your lips. And it goes down pretty quickly um, if you look at it, but that's what it looks like in suburbia. You see the color? Not really, but... <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start with the lighter shade. Uh, this is in the shade Soft Core. This is a Matte Trance lipstick. Um, I love, oops, I closed it on the wrong side, but this is the packaging. It's really, really cute. And then you would open it up and then you have the beautiful color, which this one I already used. It was in yesterday's video. If you didn't see it already, I showed you guys my little ponytail, high ponytail tutorial with insert name here, uh, ponytail. So it's gonna be up here and down below if ever you want to go check it out but uh, I actually really love this color it's so pretty um that's the combination I wore yesterday basically so we're gonna go straight into it this is more like a, a rough swatch but with the lip liner that's what it looks like oh and this one it lasts so long and I ate some chicken like <laughs> and very oily chicken with sauce and everything and the lipstick was still there I was like so shook at how long it would stay on my lips like you have to let it dry down a little bit and it just lasts all day long and it is an amazing formulation this one is definitely more matte than the other um matte trans lipstick that I showed you but I love this color. It is so my color. I don't think it fits with um, the theme going on because it's very like neutral type of thing and mauve, but uh, it still looks good. 2014, 2015, we're showing the lipstick like this and we're <laughs> removing the lipstick, just the inner part because I really want to keep the lip liner for the next color. Fold it in half and um, not this one. I already did this one. So same packaging. Very cute. Love all of Pat McGrath's packaging. It's really cute. And this color is in the shade Executive Realness. Girl, I need this shade in my life. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It is a deep berry which it looks really, really cute. It is so beautiful and I can't wait to put it on my lips. So I'm gonna stop talking and put it right there on my lips. I feel like this is gonna be a better match for the lip, the lip liner that I have now. This is way brighter than I thought. This is the first time that I apply this one. I actually, like I didn't even open them all. So this is crazy, girl. Do you see that realness though? This is gonna be one of my favorite shades from now on because this is crazy. And the thing that I love about these lipstick, okay, I noticed it with that is that it's one swipe wonders. Like the pigment just goes on super flawlessly and you really don't need a lot. It barely, like if you look, like there's no dent whatsoever in the lipstick and that is hard to not happen. So if you're buying one, even if you're paying like $50 for lipstick, this is gonna last you so long. Sorry about this like mm, kind of like ugly swatch, but whatever. <laughs> but it's amazing. This color is just everything. Okay, so I didn't remove it the best in my life, but I'm gonna put the lip liner. So I really don't mind what's happening on my face right now <laughs> um, because the next lip liner is a red one. And this one is in the shade Living Legend. And I didn't try it yet. So as you can see, it is just untouched, unscattered, unbothered, and it's gonna go on my lips today because we're trying all of these lipsticks. And a good thing that I love about using Missoula Water, this little cotton pad and these lipsticks is that my lips are not gonna scream at me after I finish swatching these beautiful colors. It's way more brown than I thought. 
So are they my favorite uh, lip liners? Not really. Um, I prefer the MAC lip liners to be honest. <laughs> Because this gel thing, um, if you have a little bit of hair, a little bit of texture, it's just going to grip to certain places. And it's not the best. But they're still really, really good though. But eh, I'm just saying, maybe you love them, maybe you hate them. It is something that we need to discuss in certain things. We're going to go into this one. This is in the shade Flesh of... Flesh 5040 Matte Trance Lipstick. Um, again, same packaging as the first one that we checked. And I think this is going to be a very good match for the lip liner. This is like a red brown. What do you think of this color on me? Flesh 5. I feel like it's really, it's really, really beautiful. Number one, uh, this color is a little bit more dark. But it's not too dark where it doesn't suit me. So... This would look absolutely amazing on darker skin tones and even on my skin tone, it looks really, really pretty. And it kind of fits well with this orange top, which I love. Um, it's not too bad. It's cute. Fits with my blush and this skin fetish highlighter as well <laughs> from Pat McGrath. I'm like full face of Pat McGrath soon. Maybe. I don't know. It's expensive though. I wish, I wish. I love the color. This one is a little bit more satiny compared to the other one. It is creamier. It's not as drying. Not that the other ones are dry, but this one is a little bit more hydrating. You know, like the formulation from each goes, like changes. And this one was a little bit more patchy when I applied it at first, but it's still very beautiful. That's definitely a color that I'm going to be wearing. All right, we are down to our last shade. Oh, this is broke. I'm going to change. <laughs> I'm changing things every single time. And I'm so excited for this next one. That's why I'm keeping it for the end. Even though I would love to keep that one on. I want to try the other one as well. Okay, so I kept a little bit of the lip liner just to have a guide. Because this color is so different than what I have on my lips right now. That it's going to be a shock. And this one, again, it's from the Elsen 2. That's the Matte Trans lipstick, this one. And this one is in a gold little packaging. And the reason why I kept it for the end is because look at this bright red. It is... Look, it's almost like disappearing. It is a vibrant red, orange in it. Doesn't smell like anything. Let's apply this bad bitch on my lips. <gasps> It is gorgeous, gorgeous. Do you see this color though? Oh my God. I love a good red and this red is fiery. Um, this looks so good and it suits with the orange. Oh my God, this is my first real red orange color and it looks just so good, honestly. I love the good like blue red, but this one orange red, I cannot get over it. Why did I not buy any orange reds before? Why was I so scared of orange? I mean, obviously it suits me. So <laughs> what was I doing all this time? I love wearing orange eyeshadow, so I don't know what I'm doing without this orange lipstick. But this is beautiful. Um, anyways, I'm shook. I'm shook. This one is definitely hydrating compared to uh, these ones that I showed you guys. Uh, but look at this thing though. Like, hello. That's a look for today. You love it. I love it. What do you think? What do you think about this color? I mean, I think it is the best color from everything that I've tried. Um, this is definitely bold. This is definitely me. Uh, and it gives me a life altogether. So anyways, that is the lipsticks, the lip glosses, the lip balm, and the lip liners that I currently have from Pat McGrath. Tell me down below, tell me down below what you think about this. Um, and if you liked it, make sure to like the video if you want me to do more videos like these, like swatches and stuff like this. I would love, love, love to do it for you guys. I love it. Um, it's definitely a, a little bit different, but I love it. Um, and also comment down below again what you prefer. If you have anything from Pat McGrath, do you think it's actually worth the money i do definitely think it's worth the money it really depends what you buy and how much you wear it in your life <laughs> these i'm definitely going to be wearing a lot i've been switching from liquid lipsticks to more like these types of lipsticks because it's more hydrating and i don't mind that much to reapply throughout the day
as I thought before, I was like, I don't want to bring anything with me, but this is really, really good. So anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much again for subscribing. And if you want to see five videos a week, now Monday through Friday, again, make sure to subscribe to my channel and we'll see more beautiful content, more things with the new lighting, the new background, the new everything, the new me <laughs> um, working. And yeah, so thank you so much, guys. Again, I love you guys so much. And I will definitely see you in the next one. Bye, guys.